We are now going to play an enjoyable and strategic game called Sequence. This game is designed for pure fun and fellowship, but you will also benefit by remembering the sequences that you play with in geography, math, and so on. You will be competing with one or up to three other players who will be trying to gain the advantage over you by putting together their sequence before you do yours. Let us begin. The two wise cards are most essential in this game. Shuffle or mix up the cards, then deal three cards to each person in turn, ending with you as the dealer. Place the pack in the middle of the table or desk. Now all players can take up their cards and look at them. Your mission is to build a sequence of cards numbered 1 to 13 in one color before one of your competitors do. The player who was dealt the first card, player 1, starts the game by picking up a card from the draw pile. He seeks to start his sequence as close to the middle of 1 and 13 as possible. An example is number seven. However, he or she can start with any card he or she wishes. It is not a good idea to start with a number like 13 or 1, or even 2 or 12, because then you will soon get blocked on one end and be forced to build in only one direction. At each player's turn, he or she starts by simply placing the card chosen to begin their sequence with face upward on the table next to them where everyone can see it. As each player chooses to start, he does the same thing but with a different color card. Two persons cannot build the same color sequence. If a player does not wish to start a sequence at his turn, he then simply throws a card face up next to the draw pile. This is called the discard pile. As play continues around the table, each player may add on their turn, if they have it, either the next number above or the next number below to their beginning sequence number. For example, if player 1 laid a number 7, it would be either card 8 or 6. You always pick up first before doing anything else in the game. You can also only add one card at a time on each turn that you play. As in the game of pairs, you will also recycle the discarded cards by turning them over when the main deck empties. Once this is done, each player must then examine their three cards and any card that does not belong to their color. They have to rest face upward on the table next to them for all to see. If, as the game goes on, you notice that someone has your card in their possession, then you may challenge the person for your card. To challenge, you must draw a card from the deck and not look at it, but give it to the person that you are challenging by placing it on the table face down in front of that person and saying, I'll challenge you. At this point, the person being challenged picks up the card the challenger placed in front of him and also the card the challenger is hoping to obtain. The challenged player mixes the two cards up out of the view of the challenger, perhaps under the table, and he must allow the challenger to pick from one of the two cards from his hand. Only the card laid face down by the challenger and the card the challenger is hoping to obtain is available for choosing. If a wise card is pulled by the challenger, this is good because you can place it next to your sequence as your turn. It is in what is called reserve. Then, whenever you wish, you can add it to your sequence to replace any missing number you wish and then play again. You must announce to the other players what card you are replacing with a wise card and whenever that card appears in play, it remains useless. Whoever adds his last card to complete his sequence first wins the game. 
If, however, no one has completed their sequence when the last draw card and discard is used, then the next player turns to his left and gets to pick a card out of his opponent's hand. Each player, in turn, picks from the person to his left and adds to his sequence accordingly. As soon as one person wins, the game stops. The second longest sequence comes second, and so on. As a further note, when building with two people, you can then build two colors at the same time. Enjoy your learning, and remember, there are three novelty games for your enjoyment and learning. For further information, please contact us at 637-6176 or check out our website at educardsonline.com.